Welcome to Medica Nova Wellness Studio. I'm Dr. Angelica Maria Koch with the educational videos about optimal health and the most innovative and holistic approach to your well-being. How are you? I hope you're very well. First of all, I apologize that I didn't feature a video two weeks ago, but I had to prioritize some projects in my life. Some of you maybe know that next to taking care of my patients at Medica Nova, I'm also an adjunct professor at the University of New Mexico and sometimes I teach at the Bioquantum Academy in Canada. So my life is super busy right now. This week let's explore how you can manage and heal your uveitis. It's an eye condition um, that causes inflammation in the eye. Some of my patients experience like floaters or black spots in their vision. And that can be quite an alarming experience and even cause anxiety. So in this video, I will share with you how you can reduce your risk of this condition or that you can even heal it. But it depends on the stages of the uveitis, so I want to be clear about it. To stay updated with my ongoing videos, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, share and like it with your friends and family, and don't forget to click that bell as it notifies you every time I upload a new video. If you are interested in learning about homeopathy, integrated mental health, health and wellness coaching, quantum healing and so much more, have a look at my website medicanova.net at the online academy where you will find comprehensive certified home study online courses. And if you are interested in a health consultation either for yourself or your children, Contact me at health at medicanova.net. I'm happy to help. But before we continue learning about uveitis today, I would like to share some personal thoughts about my YouTube channel. Lately, I have received lots and lots of comments and posts from my viewers, and I'm very grateful for that. But so often these comments are filled with a long list of physical symptoms and the urge to seek out appropriate treatments, understandable so. But so often also these comments are filled with despair. And please know that I do read them all, yet I only can respond to some of them with a more general reply. The YouTube format should be seen as more of a public forum where I share with you educational and inspiring videos how to live optimal health. Now, if you require personal attention, please contact me at medicanova.net, at medicanova, to book an appointment. And we really look then into the story because I can't just give, you know, in-depth advice uh, via the YouTube channel. I'm a little bit tight here, but I thank you for, you know, all your comments and it just gives me a good feeling that you participate and share these videos. Wonderful. So what is uveitis? Uveitis is a group of eye conditions that cause inflammation in the eye, usually in the uvea, which is in between the outer and the inner layers of the eye. It can happen on its own, but it can be also uh, be part of another disease affecting the body. So a simple uveitis definition is inflammation of the middle layer of the eye. It is the layer between the sclera or the white coat of the eye and the retina, which is the back of the eye. And the uvea is a crucial part of the eye as it consists of blood vessels that nourish your eye. So inflammation in this part of the eye can affect your vision and other parts of the eye like the cornea, the retina, as well as the sclera. So when one of these three parts of the eyes gets inflamed, we call it uveitis. Uveitis can occur at any age, but usually it's between the range between 20 to 60 years of age and women are unfortunately a little bit more affected than men. Uveitis is mainly classified uh, with into three types, we call it anterior uveitis, posterior uveitis, and intermediate uveitis, based on the part of the eye involved. The anterior uveitis or iritis is the inflammation of the anterior, the frontal part, the chamber of the iris. Intermediate uveitis 
is the inflammation of the cells or we call it the vitreous cavity and it mainly affects the ciliary bodies of the eye. You know, I put a picture up so it gives you an idea about the different layers of the eye. And the posterior uveitis, which affects the back of the eye. It is the inflammation of the retina and the choroid, we call it as well. Now, uveitis can occur due to eye injury, inflammatory disorders, if you have digestive problems, for example, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, or if there's autoimmune diseases, you know, more of a stronger element like ankylosis spondylitis or sarcoiditis, or even experience an infections like maybe you had shingles, herpes zoster, or tuberculosis, all that can affect the vision in your eye. So what are the signs and the symptoms? Well, I would say blurry vision. We have the dark floaters. I mentioned the spots in the vision, the red eye, the eye pain, and the sensitivity to light. By the way, if you really want to just check out blurry vision, I made a video about it a few weeks ago, so check in my playlist about that. However, not all types of this condition have the same symptoms. That's why I want to make this video so you can differentiate your individual symptoms according to the stage or the part which is affected with uveitis and then you also can find the most appropriate treatment protocol. So for example in anterior uveitis um, we have more the sensitivity to light right? because the light hits the frontal part of the eye. We also have a small pupil and there's this blurry vision. There can be redness in the eye and often eye pain. The intermediate uveitis, here we see the floaters and the black spots. And with the posterior uveitis, here there can be vision loss. And um, the cause of the vision loss may not be known until your eye doctor checks the eye and that's why it's very important when you have uveitis go to your eye doctor and find out the causes you know find out what's going on because it can affect your vision in a more detrimental way you want to make it sure that that's not happening so what are the causes i mentioned it can be infection it can be injury it can be germs it can be toxins and the eye in general just you know swells, it's red to look at, it becomes um, maybe hot to touch, feels very warm. These are all responses that there's an inflammatory condition happening in the eye. But uveitis can be broken down into these different types of infections as well. And we have the, inf uh, like the infectious causes then we have the non-infectious causes and the specific infections. So the infectious causes could be a bacterial infection, it can be a viral infection, and can be parasites. And you ask me, why do I have parasites with, what else has to do with my eye? Well, you know, if you get a cat scratch and parasites are transmitted, toxoplasmosis for example, then your eye can be affected. With specific infections, maybe you have Lyme disease or herpes simplex like cold sores, as well as maybe you experience shingles, varicella zoster, as a chickenpox virus and shingle virus, tuberculosis, uh, acetomegalovirus, and rare conditions maybe goes into even HIV, that infection, but we want to keep it simple in this video, but these are just a few key causes. Non-infectious causes could be just a bruise in the eye, right? An injury, maybe you had eye surgery and there was sort of uh, complications. I mentioned autoimmune conditions, sarcoidosis, ankylosis, spondylitis, inflammatory conditions in general. Definitely your digestive system may be affected with Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. If you have psoriasis, you know, that could affect your vision rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, I mentioned toxoplasmosis, existing infections, you know, um, transmission of parasites, and there might be a cat scratch. And there could be even a genetic layer involved. This gene is called HLA-B27. 
But as I said, the list goes on and I just want to give you some idea that the uveitis is not just only has to do with the inflammation of your eye, but there can be other causes behind it. So what would be the conventional treatment? Well, most of the time it's corticosteroid pills or injections or eye drops, maybe antibiotics involved if you have an infection, even antiviral medication non-sterile anti-inflammatory drugs because of the pain but all of that also suppresses your immune system and that's a bit a little bit counterproductive because we want to boost your immune system so you you know protect yourself for infections if there is a more serious condition like cataract glaucoma or detached retina of course you know i would say by then you know maybe contemplate surgery and definitely look for a conventional treatment. So uveitis, because it can go more into the detrimental aspect as well, requires conventional treatment to resolve and protect your vision as well. So do not attempt to treat it just with natural protocols alone. So always contact your healthcare practitioner. But with natural therapies, um, really life-affirming uh, life changes, diet changes, as well as bringing down the inflammatory part, I think you have great success as well. So on the external part, just on a very simple matter, bring in warm and cool compresses to relieve the pain or swelling. You can put maybe some lavender essential oil in it just to calm down your eyes. If you're sensitive to sunlight and bright light, maybe you have to wear sunglasses to protect the eyes. Also would bring in daily multivitamins. Right? Boost your immune system. Wanna bring in vitamin C, 500 milligrams, maybe two to three times a day. Wanna bring in vitamin E, a thousand milligrams twice a day. Also would say, if there's a strong inflammation, turmeric, curcumin, wonderful, wonderful herb, uh, always helps 300 milligrams maybe three times a day in order to quench the inflammatory aspect you want to bring in lots of omega-3 fatty acid like fish oils you know really helps you as well on the herbal side you want to bring in uh, lutein wonderful um, support for your general eye health as well as changing your diet bring in a diet which is rich in antioxidants fresh vegetables, take away the junk food, right? You can't afford it here. And uh, boost, boost your life force inside of yourself. With that all, I wanna bring in some uh, really fantastic top homeopathic remedies which are indicated for uveitis. And I believe the combo of lifestyle changes and diet, supplements and homeopathic remedies you have a strong package here not only to boost your immune system um, to maybe you know sort of um, stop um, the risk that you go into this direction of losing the vision even um, but also it's just is an overall well you know thought out protocol so homeopathy is a natural and a safe mode of treatments of eye disorders and their approach involves strengthening the body's own healing system to repair the organs and make them disease free as I already mentioned. Homeopathy takes the holistic approach, right? Dealing first with the condition that has caused the uveitis. And that's what I want to um, emphasize here. We want to look at what caused it it's not just your eye inflammation, but what is the story behind it? And as I said, it can be autoimmune disease, it can be inflammatory disease, it can be a general infection. So it starts by moderating the immune system, eradicating the disease at its root, at its root and therefore preventing the reoccurrence of it. The dosage plan, when you go to a health food store, you will see potencies of the number 6 and 30. It's usually the number behind 
the remedy name. And here I would say 30. If you're an adult, I would suggest one tablet two to three times a day until improvement sets in. But always contact your healthcare practitioner or contact me at health at medicanova.net and you will have to book a consultation here. I couldn't just say or oh, take this and this over an email. The main four remedies which are indicated are called Mercurius, Corrosivus, Hepasal, Phosphorus and Mercurius Solubilis. So let's have a look at this. Mercurius Corrosivus 30. It's a great remedy when you have tearing pain in the eyes. With homeopathy, you have to look for your individual expressions and symptoms. Once you recognize them and you match them with the homeopathic remedy, then you have results. Then you see the magic happening. So Mercurius Corrosivus is considered one of the top grade medicines for uveitis, especially in the treatment when the anterior uveitis and the posterior uveitis is affected. Where a person complains of the shooting, burning and tearing pain in the eye. So look out for that. Mercurius Corrosivus is the best treatment plan here. And in such cases, you often have the iris is quite thick, muddy color. And now it comes. It neither contracts nor dilates. Now, when you have a flashlight and you go close to somebody, you know, to the eye, usually the iris dilates or it contracts. It's just a natural sort of movement because it's like there's a strong uh, stimuli hitting the, the eyeball. But here it neither contracts nor it dilates, so that's a keynote here. There can be excessive photophobia, so you're very sensitive to light. And there is a severe pain behind the eyeballs as if they were forced out. It's a sensation if somebody is pushing your eyeballs out. And that's very well responded with the remedy Mercurius Corrosivus. The next remedy in line called Hepasalf, or it's called Hepasulfuris calcareum, but usually Hepasalf is the short name, 30 again, the potency. Here you also have severe pain, redness of the eyes, and it affects the anterior uveitis, again the iritis, but there can be even some pus in the anterior chamber. So if you feel like there is more of a, a discharge coming out of the eye, Hepasalf may be the remedy. Now here, the keynote is that the person experienced severe pain in their eyes as if they were being pulled back to the head. Right? Totally opposite to Mercurius Corrosivus, where it's feelings like the eyeballs are pushed out. Here, it feels like as if the eyes were sort of pulled back, you know, to the head. And the eyeballs are very sensitive to touch or even if air comes close to it, it's very painful. So Hepasulf would be a good remedy for it. When you have more a degenerate uveitis, um, Phosphorus 30 is a great remedy. Also covers more the intermediate uveitis so again, it could be also posterior, but the person experienced pain and frequent itching in their eyes. And here we see the floaters and the black spots. And phosphorus is a good, good remedy for that. Because it's for degenerative um, uveitis, um, it can be you know, detachment of the retina. Um, along with this aversion to light, photophobia. Uh, phosphorus is a good, good remedy here, especially when you see the floaters and the black spots. The last one is called Mercurius solubilis. And here we have inflammation. Again, it's a remarkable remedy um, for um, eradicating the inflammation of the iris as well as the retina, so it's anterior uveitis and posterior uveitis. 
The symptoms include that we have a cutting pain, very painful, stinging, aching, especially on inserting your eyes. So if you strain your eyes, right, you sit in front of the computer for many year, uh, years, I'm talking about hours, yeah, years too, or fine needlework, right, straining your eyes. And the eyes are extremely sensitive to light, heat or cold, right? Temperature changes when you go out and it's hot or the sun hits the eyes or in the winter. All, all of that really affects the eye very um, drastically, but it's a great remedy for that. Now, interesting enough, I've seen this remedy also uh, indicated for people who work in foundries. And these are workshops or factories for casting metal, right? There's a lot of heat um, with the torches uh, or maybe uh, little bits can fly, you know, into the air and injure the eye. So look out for that. It's a, it's a place where that happens quite a lot. So I hope this video gave you some guidelines how to manage in heal your uveitis. I appreciate if you could share and like this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell for your notifications. And for today, much love, take care. And just take care of yourself right now. It's quite a intense time, you know, you're coming up. October, November, December, almost this year is coming to an end and what a year it has been so far. So I give you a big hug, take care, till next time.